Hey, YouTube, I have missed you all. Your girl is back, Lauren Bentley here. Oh my goodness, I have not posted consistently in YouTube since what, May of this year? And I'll get to that in just a moment of, as to why I, I've been MIA, but I am really excited, super grateful to be back here. And I have a lot of really great ideas coming your way. Um, I'm excited to drop into this. So let me back up real quick. Uh, the reason I have been a little MIA from YouTube is because back in May, I actually purchased a yoga studio here in my hometown. Um, I, owning a yoga studio has been one of my biggest goals since I started my business, since I even was sitting on my couch with my notebook dreaming of my business and the studio I purchased half moon yoga here in Medina, Ohio, uh, is a studio that I worked at for a very long time. And it's amazing because the moment I walked into half moon yoga, I was like, Oh my gosh, I want this place. If this place is ever available, it's mine. Lo and behold, it became available. And guess what? She's mine and she is a beauty. And I love that community so, so much. So the reason I had to take a break from YouTube is because I had to learn how to run a yoga studio, right? I had to get comfortable in the uncomfortable and learn how to run a brick and mortar. I've always been used to working out of my home. I had to learn how to have teachers, you know, have, they're not, they're, they're independent contractors, but they're still kind of like employees. Um, I never had an employee before. I had to learn, you know, really just the whole, the whole process of it all, how to, you know, wear all the hats um, and, and from my home, my, this business and my, uh, now my yoga business, and then kind of bring them all together. And so I'm feeling a really great grounded space with it all. And so here I am back on YouTube you can definitely look forward to weekly videos returning here. I, I have started a little series called Mindful Moments Monday. I actually posted the first video a few weeks back and it was just a couple tips to help you to, uh, if you're running your own business, how to avoid burnout. Um, I just gave a couple really easy digestible tips for you to implement into your life to support and nourish yourself exactly where you are, especially if you're wearing all the hats. Um, and also too, I want to, you know, bring together my love, my love of yoga, mindfulness, meditation, and breath work, as well as these teaching moments, these like, using these very 3D things to connect us with our spirit and connect us with the 5D. Uh, and so this is the, the space that I'm moving into. And you can really look, uh, look for these videos on Monday for Mindful Moments Monday, um, where sometimes it's just gonna be a discussion. And a lot of times though, we're gonna be bringing in the movement, the breath, the meditation with the discussion. So if that sounds like your thing, then Let's go, let's go together and enjoy this journey. Uh, I do have just two really quick announcements that I would like to get through. I know this is a long intro and I'm sorry. Uh, it's just, I just have missed you all. And there's so much to say. Um, feel free to skip ahead though, if you're already over it. Um, I'll, I'll put the timestamps below. But really quick, I have a couple really awesome offers coming up for you. Uh, well, one, Actually, it ends today. Today is the last day. I've been doing my biggest sale of the year. I do this every year for Black Friday to join in the Breathe and Receive membership for 50% off. So either you can lock in your monthly payments or your yearly payment at 50% off. I believe it's like $12 a month then and then like $120 for the whole year. There's never any contract. So you're welcome just to come check it out. If it resonates, stay for as long as you want. And if it doesn't, then feel free to cancel. And there you go. You only get charged once. Um, there's really nothing to lose there, but every Sunday there's a brand new video uploaded into the growing library. There's over 100 videos so far consisting of yoga, meditation, mindfulness practices, sound healing, EFT tapping. There's Reiki healing journeys. There's breath work. It's a beautiful membership to meet you exactly where you are. Healing and wellness, anytime you need it, when you want it, 
right? It's just right there at the tips of your fingers. So the link to that, as well as the uh, discount code will be found below. And if you need any help, please feel free to reach out to me. Um, if you're watching this after um, today, whatever today's date is, the 29th of November, then the next 50% off won't be until next year. But I do offer little sales here and there throughout the year. So keep your eyes open for that. And then lastly, uh, I am doing a virtual workshop for grief on Sunday, December 5th. 2021 from 2 to 3 p.m. Eastern time. And this is going to be a somatic healing event uh, with mindfulness. So we're going to be using yoga, meditation, and breath work to meet yourself exactly where you are in this very circular path of grief. Uh, grief comes and goes in and out of our life every single day, right? Uh, and especially this holiday, the holiday season can really stir up that grief. And so I wanna offer you beautiful practices for love and nourishment to meet yourself exactly where you are, to understand your grief, to understand how it works through you and how you can work with it instead of allowing it to um, just completely um, take you down or deplete you or, for you to try to avoid it and press it away because that's never going to serve us in the end, right? So again, if you're watching this after the 5th of December, of course, you can still purchase the replay. This is only $25 and the replay goes out. So if you can't make it live, so you have this um, healing work for you anytime you need to support you on your journey. And again, any questions regarding that, my email is below. And if you need help paying for that at all, like if $25 is out of reach for you because of the current circumstances that we are in, then reach out to me and I will definitely make sure you get the link and uh, I'll get you into that, into the uh, workshop for free without any problems at all. Okay. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get on to today's work, today's mindful moment. So I was sitting in my bathtub last night and I'm just breathing and connecting with my highest self and my guides, and my angels. And I'm, I'm sitting there of noticing the amount of anxious energy I personally have been feeling and as well as many others around me have been feeling. Um, a lot of people have been going through it, right? And it's not it's not a bad thing by any means. I believe that we are all being asked to level up and be really aware of our vibration and our mindset day in and day out, because I think that we are all moving towards this beautiful collective oneness and raising the vibration of this planet. In order to do this though, in order for us to continue to move forward, to create the vibration, to create the this world that we desire to live in, we have to heal those past parts of ourself that can be dark, that we may feel really ashamed of, that we may, when, 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 these, when these ideas creep up, we may feel like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I ever did that. And we try to push it away out of shame and guilt. But what I felt into last night was that these very feelings, these very thoughts and memories, whether it's from this life or a previous life are coming up for us to heal. They're coming up so that we can view it. We can see it for what it was, release that shame, release the guilt around it, and just send that part of us love because we know that hurt people hurt people, right? And so we know that we were in a space of pain and darkness when we did those very things. And so from now on, what I am inviting us all to do is that when these painful, maybe embarrassing, maybe shameful, maybe guilt-filled memories, thoughts, experiences come to the surface for us, instead of trying to push it away, let's meet it with compassion. Let's meet that part of us with love and acceptance, send them healing, send them that white light and allow ourselves to move through it, right? When we shine light on shame and guilt, it is no longer shame and guilt it actually gets to transcend and move into love and acceptance so we can release this heaviness. 
So let's go ahead and get on our mat. I'm going to run us through a little meditation, and then we're going to just move through a couple very gentle yoga postures to help us to move that energy through us. So if you need to pause this video at all to grab your mat or get yourself in a more comfortable, secluded, private space, go right ahead. That's the beauty of a virtual movement. And um, I'll go ahead and I'll meet you on the mat. All right, friends. So no props will be needed for this at all. It's going to be very simple, but something that I really encourage you to come back to time and time again, anytime that you um, are having that really painful, again, painful, heavy, shameful thoughts and feelings, especially if you're an instant reactionist that push it away and run like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I did that. Come back to this video. Let this video support you. Find love and nourishment for yourself right? Find kindness, compassion, and unconditional love for every part of you. So we're going to begin in a comfortable seated position. Maybe you're sitting back on your heels with your knees bent. Maybe you're sitting in cross-legged position. You could also, of course, be sitting up on a blanket block or pillow to help to elevate your hips slightly. You can also be sitting in a chair. And if you prefer, you're welcome to lie down. <laughs> so really the, the choice is completely yours. So let's all begin to roll the shoulders back. Let's bring our chin parallel to the floor and we'll soften the eyes. If you prefer to keep your eyes open, I invite you just to bring it to a space on the floor somewhere in front of you that you can just rest your eyes on. Something that's not going to get you distracted at all, just something to just focus on. Maybe if it feels comfortable for you, you close your eyes off completely. We're just going to drop into this moment just by feeling the mat beneath you, holding you and supporting you. Notice every space of the body that's connected to whatever is beneath you. And then taking that further and allowing yourself to feel really connected to the earth. Notice the clothing on your skin, and the temperature of the room you are in. Noticing what you can smell. What you can hear. Perhaps what you can taste. And even if your eyes are closed, what you can see. We orient with our senses to help us to anchor into this moment, keep us present in our body. And if you feel comfortable with it, you're welcome to bring your awareness to your breath or focus on one or more of those senses that felt really connected with you in this moment. And I invite you to begin to think about the story that keeps coming up for you? What's the shadow? What's the memory that comes up for you of something that maybe you did or said? And there may be more than one that flood in, but I want you to take the, the main one, the most prevalent one. And of course, you can always come back to this or all the other ones individually. And just allow it to be there. Remember the memory, 
Let the full thought be there. Remaining grounded in your body in this present moment, knowing that this is not who you are anymore, but knowing that this is needed for us to heal, to move forward. So I'll just allow the full awareness to be here. Notice how it feels for you to accept this. Accept it for happening. Own, own it, own what you have done or said without judgment. And notice how that feels in your body, especially moving from the space of resistance, shame, and guilt to an allowance and an owning of it. Are you able to remember what age you were when this happened? Can you recall what you looked like, what you were doing, the kind of life you were experiencing? And how you were feeling? And can you imagine sending pure white light of unconditional love to that very human moment? Send all that love and light to who you were at that time. Sending love to the pain, the emptiness and the darkness. and see yourself with compassion. Let your current self feel, your, feel that love being received. And forgive yourself. and let yourself be forgiven. And then if there were other people involved, perhaps people that you hurt. Just imagine sending them white light, of unconditional love. Let them know that you are sorry. And anything else that you may need to say to them. and trust that you are forgiven. And take a moment just to express gratitude for these moments that come up for you to be healed and for these things that come up for you that you remember of who you used to be. Feel gratitude for all the healing, all the growth and for who you are today. That is beautiful.
And from here, we'll all begin to come back into a seated cross-legged position. We need a few moments for everybody to arrive. We'll go ahead and take this left leg, either stack it on top of your right or in front. And then we'll just gently fold our upper body over those cross legs. So your shoulders round, but your head be heavy. You'll more than likely feel a nice stretch within that left hip. Send your breath into that left hip. Just finding a couple very gentle hip openers to release any of that stuck stagnant energy that may be remaining here, especially around this memory that's coming up. Our hips hold on to our emotions. Our hips are a part of that sacral chakra right below the belly button where the emotion begins, where the emotions are held if we don't allow them to be energy in motion. So just breathing in and out of that left hip. As you inhale, just let yourself breathe in love, breathe in compassion for yourself. As you breathe out, just let go of the shame and guilt. Know that you are so worthy of releasing, so worthy of healing. then press into those hands and on your inhale, begin to take your time to walk yourself back up to your tall spine. And we'll gently switch the direction of the legs. So your right leg is either now in front of the left or stacked on top of the left. Each side of the body is gonna feel completely different. So just meet yourself here without any more shame or judgment. And then we'll very gently fold over those legs once more. I need some nice deep breaths into your right hip. And same idea here, just inhaling, receiving love and compassion, exhaling, releasing the stories, releasing the shame and the guilt. into your hands, we'll breathe in to come all the way back up to your long spine. And then we'll rest our hands on the shins. We'll find a couple seated cats and cows to move that energy through the body up the spine to move out. Let's inhale, roll your shoulders back, pull your heart forward, lift the chin. Exhale, chin to chest and round the spine. Inhale, pull that heart forward, lift the chin. Exhale, round the spine, tucking the chin to chest. Inhale here. Exhale, let it go. Breathing in. And breathing out. 
Inhale. And exhale. Let's find one more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale through the center, long spine. Now, lastly, we're going to open up the throat space just to, again, keep completely release. But first, before we do that, take a moment to soften those eyes once more and imagine this beautiful white light just completely surrounding your body. Sitting in this vibration of unconditional love and support. And then we'll gently drop that right ear over to the right shoulder. Maybe walk your left fingertips out long to deepen the stretch. If that's too much for you, just keep your left hand on the left. As you sit here and breathe, just continue to envision that beautiful white light of unconditional love surrounding your whole body. Bring that left hand back to the left. If it's not there already, gently drop your chin to the chest. Keep your shoulders rolled back and down. Take a breath into the back of your neck. And then left ear to the left shoulder. Perhaps you walk your right fingertips out long. right hand back to the left very gently drop that chin to the chest once more and then very slowly and gently begin to bring your chin back to center and then go ahead and looking up look up towards the sky any amount that feels good for you take a breath in through the nose open the mouth let it go and then bring your chin back through to center wrap your arms around you in a hug Holding yourself here. Just remember who you are. And then very gently, we'll bring our hands to heart center, bowing our forehead to our fingertips. We bow in gratitude to ourselves for showing up. Bowing in gratitude to this practice that exists both on and off the mat. And gratitude to one another for showing up and sharing space from all around the world. Namaste. Thank you so very much, friends. Thank you for being here. Thank you for returning even after my long vacation. I don't know what to call it because it wasn't really a vacation. Um, and just know that you can return here whenever you need. These memories come up for you to heal it. When we continue to be in that shame and guilt spiral, we continue to create stronger energetic ties around it. We're not moving forward. We're staying trapped in the past. Honor it, show up for it, move through it, transmute it, turn it into love, let it go because you deserve to release it. So does the world. Please take a moment to subscribe to this channel, give it a like, a comment, let me know what you experienced. And if you know anybody who is in need of this video, please give it a share. It'd be so amazing. And you can look for me every Monday around this time to show up for you. Thank you for showing up for me. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.